other than have a nothing. Did you put these on there? Welcome back party people today. We're headed down to Myrtle Beach and we're gonna camp in the Myrtle Beach State Park campground Myrtle Beach State Park was the first state park opened in South Carolina and the Myrtle Beach area Got its name from the wax myrtle tree, which is very common to the area. Hello checking in the campground Sure, have we been here before? Uh, first time Welcome to Myrtle Beach State Park. Thanks so now, much. Just in case you need it. All you gotta do is go down the road here When you come to the split go left File that down and you'll see the campground on your left hand side. Right before you pull in there, you're gonna see another tan hut and that's where you'll check in. All right, thank you. Have a good time. So we make our way up to the campground check-in and cure ourselves in line there. It was fairly busy for a Monday. G-Money gets out and gets us all set there. And you can see lots of travel trailers, lots of folks that are making that sharp turn into the campground there. All set. You got everything? Yes. Yeah. Got the parking we're in campsite number 73 on loop number three. And a warning here, if you plan on reserving this particular campsite in the autumn, there are hickory nuts that fall from the trees that can damage the top of your RV or van. So I would steer clear of uh, any of those campsites with those really tall hickory trees there. All right, as we pull in here to get set up, this is one of the 234 sites available to reserve they're only about 300 yards from the beach. All right, party people. We made it to our destination for this week. Got the G-Money with us. We got the hyper fan. And uh, as you saw coming in, we're at Myrtle Beach State Park. And this week is probably the hottest week of the year. Uh, look at that internet access. Cisco Mirage. We were experiencing record heat when we left North Carolina. It didn't get much better as we headed down to uh, South Carolina either. So we did reserve a site with electricity so that we could run the air conditioner and boy did it come in handy. The background noise you hear in some of the clips is our fan. It moves a lot of air. It keeps the bugs away and keeps us nice and cool when we're outside. Yeah, we finally got the mosquito net up. We folded it up wrong last time, so it was inside out this time. We fumbled around with that for a while. We got it. Even though we can take a shower in the van, we do like to check out the campsite restrooms and showers. And in this case, to our surprise, it was well air conditioned. It felt great inside. One of the first things we like to do after we get set up is explore the campground. It's a really cool schoolie there. And then this travel trailer had a ton of pink flamingos in the campsite. And we head up toward the entrance of the campground. There's a store available there for purchase of some minor items. We noticed some cabins there available for rent as well. Well, there must be at least six. That one says number six. Next, we headed out to the beach to check out the surf. Red flag day. The surf was pretty rough. It was a red flag day. There were a few people out in the shallow waters, but uh, it was getting late in the day, so we decided to head back to the campground and get prepared for dinner. And up. You ain't gonna get no AC though. All right, as we head out to dinner, we'll give you a little tour around the campground here and also part of Myrtle Beach State Park. The campsites are fairly close together. It reminds me a lot of Huntington Beach State Park, which is just a bit south of here. If you're looking for spacious sites with lots of room on both sides of your van or camper, uh, it's probably not the place for you. So this footage is sped up, but you have to be careful navigating around these loops within the campground. A lot of dog walkers, carts, electric powered vehicles, children on bicycles. So you have to be careful there. We'll give you some views of the broader state park here. 
You can get a day pass for $8 for adults, $4 for children, and there are senior discounts available. Plenty to keep the kids busy as well. There are various playgrounds and play areas as well as nature and discovery trails. I'm going to head up toward the fishing pier now and as we get to this intersection notice the traffic it is a fairly busy state park there are 134 acres available out here to explore we're coming up on the fishing pier that is available in the state park here on the left now a word about fishing legally here you buy a day pass you can fish on the pier legally you can also fish from the shore but you need a south carolina fishing license in order to do so and also you can't fish where lifeguards are on duty and i noticed a majority of the coastline there around the campground area there were lifeguards posted take that into consideration as we head past the pier you'll notice a myriad of parking spaces that are available in the state park and you may be thinking to yourself Wow, there's a lot of parking there. But what you'll notice as the day goes on, those parking spaces will fill up very quickly. So if you're headed out to this state park, be mindful that it does get very busy and those parking spaces will disappear quickly. So that wraps up a quick driving tour around Myrtle Beach State Park. Next, we head out to dinner and do some shopping at the local grocery store there. And uh, at our favorite Walmart, you notice the lot cops are out. So those things are there for safety and security and in part to keep people from camping in the parking lot. Mission accomplished. We got what we needed from the grocery store, headed back to our campsite and started dinner. G-Money's cooking up bulgogi. Bulgogi is a Korean dish that literally means fire meat, but is a marinated beef or pork served with lettuce leaves. And we also had some leftover corn there, and boy, it was yummy. We enjoyed the rest of our night with a few drinks by the lantern light. We start our next day off with some breakfast and some iced coffee. And this cold brew coffee maker has been a hit in the warmer weather. After breakfast, we head out to the beach for a day of relaxation. Now that uh, storm cloud looks a bit menacing, but it never rained on us, believe it or not. Just another note to be aware of, there was quite a bit of air traffic noise. So Myrtle Beach International Airport is just across the way along with helipads for helicopter tours. So if you're looking for a quiet, secluded space on the beach, this area around the state park may not be for you. It seems to be, at least at this time of the year, in the flight path of the International Airport. As we wrapped up our day on the beach, G-Money decided to tease the pigeons. Next up, Bike Skills Park. All right, party people. Uh, we're going to uh, take a tour around uh, Myrtle Beach State Park some of the riding trails so I know across the highway out there is a skills park a bike skills park so we're gonna go try to check that out give you an idea about what that looks like in case you want to in case you want to come down to uh, Myrtle Beach State Park and have a stay at the campground it's just a quick ride across the road over there all right so this is the pier Biter Day. I think the pier closes at 8 p.m. We didn't quite make it last night. We were gonna go fishing, but we just didn't make it. Let's go. Look, Ma, no hand. No hand. I don't know if this is the right one. We're trying to make it to the bike park across the road. We're only 32 miles from Georgetown, 92 miles from Charleston. Georgetown, South Carolina that is. As we're riding down to the skills park, you can start to see some of the features located on the right there. Jack Walker East Coast Green Ray Trailhead. There's really no parking out here. 
they think we could have just come in this, this entrance right here. Now you may already be familiar with the East Coast Greenway project. Its vision is to connect over 3,000 miles of bicycle and walking paths from Maine to Florida. of the day is rusty that's right uh, it's been a while since g money and i have been on bicycles uh, we've both been healing injuries she busted her knee at medic mountain state park and my hip has been out of whack since uh, the late winter so i am squashing most of these jumps because i can't extend fully off the lip and uh, that landing kind of jars pretty bad as well so it is what it is but uh, we enjoyed our day Go fast and hit that wall, babe. She busted her knee open back at uh, Medic Mountain. Pump it, pump it, pump it. There you go. I forgot the helmet. Yeah. All right, that's gonna pretty much be it. It's like blazing hot out here. We're gonna head back to the park and uh, maybe enjoy the maybe head out. swim. Maybe. Those hit the windshield of the van. We were in crow time. Got a crease in my hood. Turkey vulture. Mm -hmm. The one that hit my windshield that time. Oh, that sucker. That sucker. And before you know it, the fun has to come to an end, and we have to head home. I wonder what the Chad of town of Chadbourne is known for. <laughs> Chad Wait, was, Chad up? Obviously, Chad was born here. As we travel home, we go through the town of Chadbourne, North Carolina. Chadbourne was once the largest strawberry producer in the world. That'll wrap this video up. Just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now.